I'm in Iowa. <laughs> Right now I am headed over to Mitchell Horace's farm. Mitchell is the co-host for my fieldwork podcast, our fieldwork podcast, through Minnesota Public Radio. Uh, I'm headed over to his field day this morning. We're going to discuss a lot of things to do with soil health and water quality and what he's got going on way down here in southeastern Iowa. I would say the corn looks beautiful down here. It's a lot more even. Uh, there's a lot more rolling hills than I expected down here. A lot more. That corn is tasseling. That's like two weeks at least ahead of ours right now. I got you on camera. <laughs> Alright, I just got here. It's definitely 9 a.m. in the morning. I did not wait until the end of the day to do this part. No. no. So Mitchell is getting ready to have his field day. Well, pumped. Uh, Mitchell, Good. this is your, your field day with Continuum Ag, Continuum which Ag is you. Back. Give me your quick speech on what Continuum Ag is, what you have going on today, and what you're doing out here. Continuum Ag is a soil health consulting company. I help farmers all over the place quantify and improve soil health. And I'm my own guinea pig. So this is my farm. We're trying some wild and crazy stuff. So this is a 60-inch row spaced corn. So the row that's supposed to be right here is turned off. Um, I got some other farmers I'm working with that are trying that. I work with companies like the company that was here today, and trying. You mean it's gonna be stuff. here today? Gonna be here today. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't. Remember, here it's 9 a.m. Yeah, 9 a.m. And then we got interseeded cover crop. Um, so just trying new stuff and trying to build soil health and try to figure out can we plant a cover crop really early in the year, and see if we can get it to overwinter and change up the timing. So Mitchell, by the way, I will link Continuum Ag down in the description if anybody's interested. Oh yeah, check us out. Uh, Mitchell is my co-host on the Fieldwork Podcast. You can also check us out there. Everything is at Fieldwork Talk on what? Twitter, Facebook. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube. Not, We're not on everything. that people would be on YouTube. Yeah, nobody really goes on YouTube because yeah. I haven't heard a number. Thousand, we do? 100,000 downloads. Well, there you go. So there's at <laughs> least... You uh, didn't know that? No, I had no idea. Nobody told me that. 100,000 downloads, yeah. Well, there's going to be a season two, yeah, and season it's going to be even better. We need more than 100,000. All right, so I'm going to check out the field day that's about to happen here. That's definitely not over with. No. And then we're going to go to Mitchell's farm, and uh, take. we've got to take some headshots, yeah, some interviews for Minnesota Public Radio. Prom, prom photo. Let's check this out. It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> this corn is much farther along than ours. Yes, I have confirmed that now for sure. But it should be. I'm eight hours south of where I farm right next to the promised land. This wasn't that much. Bush How long has this one been no-tailed, this place? Annie, do you suppose it's going to be liver and onions for lunch? Uh, I thought we were going to have earthworms. <laughs> earthworms for lunch. Organic, free-range earthworms. <laughs> that sounds delicious. I'm more of a gummy worm type of guy. <laughs> I'm going to add cover crops, but I'm not going to change my nutrient protocols, or I'm not going to change, you know, my tillage. It, it, it all, it all is linked. And so you make one little change in one thing, and and you've got to look at at all of it. Okay. I am now pulling into Mitchell's farm after a delicious meal and some good talk about soil health and soil aggregation, aggregates, ag, ag, soil ag stuff. And we're gonna take some fun pictures here with MPR. For now, we gotta get some nice headshots of this this ugly mug for the uh, Fieldwork podcast. I don't know, I need a headshot. Like, why? who does wanna look at this, right? Better. <laughs> we're talking about taking our official photos here in the, in the wheat patch. We can, like, hide and make it look like it's super tall. <laughs> I think we just do this. You can tell I'm a farmer because like of the wheat patch. The wheat patch in my mouth. It. <laughs> I was thinking like, wow, look how tall this wheat is. <laughs> See, that's what we got to do with corn at home. Yeah, you got to sit on like, the knees. You got to kneel down. Yep. You want to explain what happened here, Mitchell? <laughs> um, this is the water hemp test. There's the one. Everybody listens to the Fieldwork podcast, so it's obvious when you hear his voice yeah. that he is indeed the second best radio show host ever to walk the earth. Yes. Tell me, debatable. Give, me, give me like a, no, debatable. it's not debatable. It's not, it's not. You are the second best. Okay, <laughs> hey, you got to own fine. that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> give me your elevator speech on what your farm well, is. Well, this is our elevator. It's a grain elevator. Okay. 126 foot tall. Yep. Big elevator. Okay. We got corn and soybean farm. We're down in Washington County, Iowa, so southeast Iowa. 
corn, soybeans. We do a lot of stuff with cover crops. Uh, we got a little bit of wheat this year. I think you have to say it like wheat. 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 There's an H in, yeah. in front of the W, yeah, the is. W. But no, we're trying and experimenting and we've been farming, I think I'm seventh generation here. Been farming in this area for, I saw the thing in, we're like three or four years away from 150 years here. Okay. All right, so, so this is a wheat bin. This is, is this all of the wheat? Wheat. What are you gonna put in the rest of the bin? Um, we harvested the wheat on Friday, so the day after the 4th of July. We harvested our wheat. Maybe we'll go see the field later, cause it's kinda cool. Cause there's also soybeans growing underneath the wheat. We have a relay crop. So we had wheat growing and we put beans into the wheat. And then we harvested the wheat over the top. And um, That's crazy now talk. we spread it all out. Yep, two crops. Spread it all out because we're going to replant this wheat for cover crop. So then when you come back and harvest the soybeans this fall, you'll put them in this bin on top so of the wheat. No, no, no. The wheat <laughs> will be gone. We'll have to get the wheat out of here somehow. we got to do a wardrobe change now. So I'm headed off to uh, the hair and makeup trailer, which, is, which is, is right here. I'll put it on my tailgate. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. No, I was pulling the memory No, no, off. no, no. You said no. No. Tell Mitchell. No, I killed it. <laughs> he ran the battery dead on I his red it. tractor. I killed it. See, guys, it can happen to red tractors no, too. That's because I was pulling the gear off of the green precision planting equipment. And I'm just going to cut him off in the middle of his excuses. It, this is what a real farm looks like. That's my understanding. This is what it's supposed to look like. So you've got a red planter with some precision gear on it. Yeah, it's all precision, so it's all decked out. Okay. So this is this helps us to be able to plant into the cover crop and whatnot. Yep. So it's got Delta Force on it. It's got trash rippers on it. This is our starter fertilizer. It goes down to Inferro. So Inferro starter fertilizer, and now we've got two different starter fertilizer tanks on it, and two different seed tanks on it. So I can run two different hybrids, one on each side of the planter, and I can switch back and forth to my starter tanks. So like for that trial, that's how we did it. Yeah. So we had their seed treatment in one half of it. Okay. So then as I turned, I had 12 rows treated, 12 rows untreated, and then I would turn on and off the Got, starter gotcha. between one product versus the other. To the other product. So you can run the same, you can either or tank can go to any rows. Yeah, yeah. It's so not like a split. Yep. No, yeah, so this is just split right in the middle. Okay. So that works well. Yep. But the, the plumbing for the seed, it's only half and half. Gotcha. So you can't switch that. Yep, right. But you can set two and you can know, okay, this one is treated, this one's untreated, or different hybrids or whatever. So do you put nitrogen on with this? Yes, sir. Yeah? 32% UAN. So um, you're split applying with that? Yeah, yeah. So we're typically like five passes, really. Oh, okay. Mostly, so mostly anhydrous, um, then ammonium sulfate in the spring AMS. Yep. And then nitrogen going on with the planter and then going on with the herbicide or any other just foliar pass. Sure. So just as a carrier and whatnot. So maybe yep. we'll get like 25 units total. You're done now though, or, right? Or will you well, go we out more? we have a little bit more if we need to. And if we need, we can put drops on this. And okay. they're not wide drops or nothing. They'll just dribble it down in the middle. Yep. And so we have some options to be able to use it. But yeah, this is a 1990, older than me. It's a millennial. It's a millennial Hagee. The, the, the Hagee's a millennial. It's the, the Hagee millennial. It, it's gone through a lot. And, but hey, it Most millennials have, just ask them. It's gone through, <laughs> just ask them. <laughs> gone through some tough times and it likes to complain. Uh-huh. You know, uh -huh. it complains, it's, it's finicky. Yep. You gotta talk nice to it. Sure. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna hurt its feelings. It's not as bad as having a red tractor well, though, is it? You don't wanna hurt that feelings either. Those are sensitive. Very sensitive. <laughs> gotta be nice. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Annie. Oh, Annie, you're good. <laughs> Mitchell, you said the dog's name is Case? Yeah. Case, don't break down in there. Did you get the big dog in the shot? <laughs> he tries to look tough. Come on. Is he still? You should, let, you should have it. one with him in there. Oh, God. Not really. Oh, come on. He's cute. He's the farm dog. Oh. Just pet her, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was doing a pretty good job, but then this happened. Yeah. <laughs> we got all kinds of tests going on, but this one's kind of cool. This is a relay crop. Yep. So what we did was we, we drilled in wheat last fall yep. as a cover crop. Then this spring on April 25th, we drilled soybeans into the wheat. Yep. And usually then you'd, you'd spray it off and kill it. Right. You know, you use it over the winter and then you just spray it off. That's a cover crop. 
but this one we let it keep on growing and last friday july 5th we came out here and we harvested over the top of the beans and you see we ran some over and that's fine yep ran some over and we had the header the bean platform just our normal platform just high and we on where we have beans underneath we had it extra high because we didn't want to get into the beans but now i've got beans that are growing out here that were planted super early and this ground is super hard because we haven't got rain so this is where you harvested the wheat from that was in the bottom of the bin the wheat from the which, bottom of the bin which will be your there. cover crop seed for this fall yep and you're still going to get a soybean crop off of this yeah so look so i've got soybeans out here that are flowering that look awesome and growing right next to wheat yep growing together and we harvested some of that wheat so this has no herbicides on it no fungicides on it no insecticides no nothing because we're letting the wheat suppress the weeds and it's all free range wheat free range soybeans free range wheat free range soybeans there is extra gmos in it okay but good other than that next destination next destination we're going to the water to the water they want a photo of us examining soil near a water source <laughs> nothing specific just weirdly just water. oddly specific we, we thought about just like spraying the sprinkler because it's really hot out here right and then a and fan blowing fun. on us and we were gonna like kind of frolic and they, they say we're very like just find water yes. and soil and we're like okay. make it a very awkward <laughs> very legit photo shoot yes. situation all right. I Should I just push down you down? Water crossing is gonna be easier than here. That water wasn't good enough. Water is not good enough. We gotta find some new water around here. We need better water. <laughs> Photographers, man. Photographers. Mitchell has corn that is silking I some big already. Corn. Look at how big that guy is. That's gonna be all right. That's gonna be all right. We're excited. We found our water. Those real cams. <laughs> Mitchell, it's been a day. I peed in your field. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that certainly was fun and interesting. I want to thank Mitchell and his family and NPR for getting us down here today. Lousy dinging, stupid seatbelt laws. Anyway, I had a lot of fun today. Um, Mitchell's a great guy. I really have a lot of respect for him and his dad and his family for doing all the, the testing that they are around here with work on things like no-till and cover crop and re relay crop and 60-inch corn, all kinds of fun stuff they got going on. Um, they're sharp guys, sharp family, uh, fun stuff. And uh, again, I encourage you to check out our field work podcast. We're gonna start working on season two real soon here. And we're actually gonna be doing a live event in Morton, Minnesota at Farm Fest under the main tent on August 6th at three o'clock in the afternoon. So come under the tent, watch us record live. Hopefully we can do some interacting with the audience and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, and thank you for watching guys, I appreciate it. That's it, bye.